today we're going to index the distributor on our Jeep. It's a common flaw from Chrysler and it was a technical service bulletin that they released as a fix for poor ignition timing and spark. What it's going to involve is taking our distributor out and cutting this little tab down here off so that you can actually rotate it and fine tune it. Currently this was supposed to be over here. Unfortunately when I installed it I misunderstood where number one was and this is actually number five. Number one should be about right here. So the distributor was going to have to come out regardless just so I can reset it because it's not anywhere near close to where it needs to be. So we're going to get started and hopefully you enjoy the ride. All right got our half inch wrench. I'm just going to bust this bolt loose. Get our clamp out of the way. Get our clamp. And we gently wiggle that and pull her out straight up. Make sure you don't forget to remove the gasket. In our case, we won't be reusing this. I've got an O-ring we're going to put on the end of the shaft here. It'll just mount right up here. It's going to last a lot longer and give us a better seal. These things are notorious for having oil blow by when the engine's running. And that'll be one less place to develop an oil leak. All right, now that everything's out, we're gonna go ahead and measure a half inch from this tip forward, and we're gonna cut this off. So that's, like I said earlier, it's gonna allow us to fine tune where our rotor lands on the distributor. Alright, there we are, ready to cut. Just use a hacksaw, die grinder, whatever. I think I'm going to use a hacksaw, mostly because I don't really have a vise or any other way to secure this thing to use the die grinder. Alright, we got our finished product. We are ready to install back into the motor and set our indexing. The other items you're going to need for this is a second distributor cap that you can cut the top off of so that you can make sure your rotor is lined up with the number one cylinder and it allows you to fine tune your adjustments. So I'm going to go grab our rotor and I'm going to grab the cap and go ahead and cut the top of the cap off. We got our new cap and our modified cap, got our o-ring on there. We're ready to go ahead and try to pop this back in. You want to make sure that your oil pump rod is pointed just slightly past the 11 o'clock position. You want to be able to see it. See it not. Now you can see the pump rod is not right at 11 o'clock, it's more at the 2 o'clock and 7 o'clock position. So we're going to stick a flat blade screwdriver in there and go ahead and rotate it until it's where it needs to be. Alright, here we go. That's more like what we're looking for. 
and being able to adjust it where it needs to be. Okay, you want the trailing edge to be just past it as the motor rotates this way as per the firing order. Just ever so slightly. Right about there is where we want it. So now we'll get our clamp, clamp it back down. This will allow, allow us to get really fine tune adjustments. Now we take the old cap off and we'll put the new one back on and hook our plug wires back up. up the video for our distributor indexing it's going to give us a much better chance for this thing to start when we get finished with the rest of our wiring work if you like the video don't forget to like subscribe even share and if you want to get in touch with me i'm at dirt garage on instagram take care we'll see you in the next one